All right, this is a pinch detector sensor bypass for Little Robot, Little Robot 3, which you can see is right now upside down. I removed uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws so that this can be split. You remove the bottom piece of the plastic. Now you can see the stuff inside. Uh, in my case, I already threw away piece of plastic here earlier, but still it's giving me trouble. So this is your sensor. When the two wires are connected, these two plates are connected, it's in a good state. When they're disconnected, it says pinch detect and doesn't work anymore. So they're rusty, as you can see, I don't know with this price of this thing, who makes them of the metal that doesn't sustain a couple of years, actually less than a couple of years for us. Um, and this is the dry weather right here, California, so I don't know. Uh, but what you do to bypass it, you disconnect the terminals from the pieces of metal. These are the terminals. And you see I put them together. In my case, I used little wire to put in that hole instead of the terminals but you can do it any way you like you just need to make sure they're connected all the time and then the sensor is not going to work anymore um, I do believe it's not a concern for the safety of a cat because cats will not go into this hole while the thing is rotating and even if they do they will jump out I mean it's not possible for this to overpower the cat Good luck.